First the good news, then the bad news. My name is Steven. We're going to go over what's opened, what's not opened, what the restrictions are, if the casinos are opened, what you can actually do, if you should do a happy dance, or if you should give an emoji thumbs down with a poop emoji followed by it. Steve Sisolak has spoken, and the people listened, kind of, in a way. My name is Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. Like Vegas? Want to come here? Want to learn about the news? Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. I want to support the channel. Do those things. Or you can go Uber on me. and Not Uber, it's in the drive. It's a term we used to use before there was a car service. You can go on the Patreon, be in the credits, or you can uh, see stuff I don't post on YouTube. Or... Hey, guess what? You can go over to the to the Teespring and get some fun Vegas merch. I put the mask on a bunch of Vegas stuff. You might want to check it out if you love Las Vegas. All right. That being said, Steve Sisolak has spoken yesterday at 3 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, he said, go watch my live stream here. And then it wasn't there. And then he reposted it three, four times. And by the time I got to it, he was in the middle of telling people to wear your dang masks, everybody. And that social distancing was the best preventative measure. But he also said things are going to open. So what's going to open? Restaurants, retail shops, a couple of other things. What's going to be the restrictions and what will be closed? And what about the casinos? That's the purview of this video. So on May 7th, it's May 8th today, Steve Sisolak gave everybody very short notice. But to his credit, he gave notice. He said, as of 12.01 a.m. on Saturday morning, everything not really can open. So everything being retail stores, non-essential services like a Best Buy or a Kohl's department store or a Sears I'm just kidding. There is no more Sears in Las Vegas. Is there a Sears where you are? Oh, also comment in this video. Is this the worst idea or the best idea or a good balanced approach to the whole thing? Because I'm thinking, you know, what I'm thinking, but I want to hear what you're thinking too. So yeah, so we can open retail stores. We can open restaurants. We can't open a bunch of other things. And it gets a little bit murky and a little bit confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and comment on that stuff right here. So Sisolak had been working with the federal government from what I heard. He was on the phone a lot with the Trump administration comparing doctor's notes from Sisolak's experts to Trump's, Trump's experts. Uh, Trump had promised Sisolak a whole bunch of stuff like PPEs. This is just what I heard from sources that I can't quote. And so you can say, you don't got no sources. And I'll say, they never quote the sources get over yourself but from what i heard trump was very supportive of sisolak opening up but also very supportive of how he wanted to open it uh donald trump the president obviously a guy who owns resorts who even has interest in his resort here that he co-owns with phil ruffin gave all the support he could to governor sisolak he also heard out the mayor mayor goodman understand her position too he took a balanced approach on everything and promised as much support if we really needed ventilators if we really needed personal protective equipment now something miraculous happened so we got to give props to the federal government and the administration for backing up the state and local governments out here in Nevada because that's something you didn't hear about on the news it's important to note that right so during the whole process during the whole time there was a lot of support from the top levels of government all the way down something miraculous we didn't really need them we got to the point in Vegas be it that maybe we had this in the city a lot longer before we even knew it existed in America or maybe it was because everybody did just stay at place and listen to the government's orders we got to a point where they opened it all up early so May 9th is the new date May 15th was going to be the date and now here's what's going on so as the review journal shows some businesses to reopen Saturday and here's what some businesses are basically restaurants that are not just bars, you have to be able to serve food, non-essential retail stores, beauty supply shops, nail salons, barber shops, uh, places where you can go to a movie that rhyme with drive-in. Only drive-in movies are allowed to open and operate, but at least people can do the drive-in and see a, a movie. If we're not all used to changing our consumer uh, habits right now and just watching stuff on our high def TVs at home, you can finally go to a drive-in movie at least. So regular movie theater is not open, but we'll get to what's not open in a moment. What kind of restrictions on a restaurant or what kind of restrictions on a retail store are in place? Well, that is pretty simple. Uh, they want the staff to all wear masks all the time. I didn't hear anything about gloves, but they said that the patrons can wear masks, although they haven't mandated it. But a lot of stores out here are telling everybody you have to wear masks. So there is that too. So some of them won't allow you in without some kind of a face covering. So make sure you bring your own and leave it in the car in case you need it. 
And they want people to practice social distancing and have a 50% capacity on all the stores, meaning that before where it was Walmart and Costco and Target just saying it, now the state's going to actually mandate a 50% capacity until we get to a different phase. How many phases are there? Well, to quote Sisolak, I don't know how many phases there will be. And I think he even said in that live stream, we're in a phased in approach to phase one. Phase one being where everything kind of sort of opens a little bit. So you have your restaurants, you have your uh, non-essential retail, you have your drive-in movies, your beauty salons, your uh, barber shops. I don't know about tattoo parlors. That wasn't explicitly mentioned, but there is a list. Uh, retail businesses, malls, shopping malls can open if they're open air only. So you can go to the North Outlet Center, but you can't go to the South Outlet Center. You can go to Town Square, but you can't go to the Galleria Mall at Sunset. It's been shown and proven that being inside with dead air circulated by an air conditioner is a bad thing for the C-19 virus. Automobile, ATV dealers, entertainment, drive-in theaters are only going. Um, the other things are nightclubs, bars. These are not open. Let's get to the list of not open stuff right now. Nightclubs, bars, pubs, not open. If you're open, you got to be serving food. But nightclubs, bars, and pubs are different classes of businesses, so they are not open. Entertainment venues. T-Mobile Arena, not open. You couldn't have a football game right now if it was even possible at Allegiant Stadium, not operating. Recreation, community centers, not open. Gyms, not open. Uh, public swimming pools, not open. That's not to say the casinos won't have pools, but just to say that right now, none of the public recreation pools are open. Sporting venues, as we mentioned, live entertainment theaters, Indoor movie theaters, when I say live entertainment theaters, I refer to uh, li live entertainment theaters like uh, the Huntridge Theater downtown if they still had shows there or the Smith Center for Performing Arts, not open, not open. Movie theaters owned by Regal AMC where you sit down next to somebody and watch a movie inside air conditioning, not open. Bowling centers, not open. Zoos and aquariums, not open. Racetracks, not open. Skiing facilities, it's the end of April, early May. They're not going to be open, but they're not open. Theme parks, not open. No Circus Circus Adventure Dome for you. Amusement parks, um, the adult entertainment establishments not open. Uh, aesthetic service establishments are not open unless they're a nail salon, hair salon, a barber shop, and body art, body piercing, tattoos. There you go, not open. There you go. Now, counties are allowed to be stricter on these rules and regulations if they want, but you don't care about any of that. You want to know about the casinos. I know you do. Casinos are not open. We've already heard this from the governor last week when he did his live stream. That was really, really bad and you couldn't understand him. But he had said phase one will not have the casinos open. Phase one will last two to three weeks, two to three weeks. So that's a good thing, which means that we have some hope since we started this on May 9th that maybe the casinos will be open on May 24th for the big Memorial Day bash that goes on every single year in Las Vegas. However, people are emailing me, texting me, asking me all sorts of questions on that. Nobody has a crystal ball yet. Let's assume that all of the casino properties have submitted proper applications and did all of their P's and Q's. They have massive divisions of people that work on this for them. Let's assume that they did all that and the plans are in place. What they would be waiting for right now is for the governor to say, great, phase one's phased in phase approach. We set our phasers on phase. He likes the word phase. That went well. We don't have any new cases or the ones we have are minimal versus what's actually leaving the hospitals. And we have been releasing patients from the ICU. So go ahead, open up. We won't know that until I believe the last minute based on what Sisolak is doing on this announcement right here, because this announcement right here comes literally 36 hours before everyone is expected to open up. Now, I don't know if they said something to the effect of you have two days to figure out if you're going to open up. You don't have to open up. This is like Georgia where they told people we're going to open things. You don't have to open. We're not going to punish you for not being open because if you're a business, you have to open, right? They're not doing that. But what I wonder is going to happen is there are people here and all across this great nation of ours that have been on double uh, welfare, well, welfare, call it welfare, call it employment insurance. Welfare is probably a negative term for it. There are some people making $1,200 a week to sit at home. There's been some reports of people in other states that have decided not to come back to work even after their employers jumped through all the hoops and got themselves the uh, payment protection uh, program loans. They call up their employers. Hey, Sally. Hey, Bill. Hey, whatever. If your name is Sally or Bill, Sally, Sally or Bill, that's a big, huge, random guess. Good work. You can come back to work. 
work. What do you mean you don't want to come back to work? You're making more money sitting at home? Huh. Hopefully that's not the case out here in Nevada. I don't imagine it would be. I think out here we have a very good work ethic. I think out here people like the fact that we get, you know, no taxation on our personal taxes and our business taxes are low. So I would imagine hopefully it's not the case, but we'll see if it is. If you go to stores and they're short staffed right now, that could be a case. But I know I'm looking forward to the fact that I can go to a Best Buy store and touch that camera that I can't afford right now. Uh, because I want to take better video quality for you guys or buy an adapter from a Fry's electronics store or go to a Kohl's if I want to see something that's on sale. Those are good things for the economy. So this is overwhelmingly a good thing for the economy if it gets people back to work, helps stave off the financial impact that this has had for everybody and gets everybody into a better place, albeit slowly. But what's your thoughts on all of this? I'm curious to know what you think is going on with all of this. Make sure you like, share, subscribe in the videos. Drop us a, a comment and let us know what you think. Hit the bell for notifications. If you wanna be in these credits that are coming up in just a moment, go ahead and go over to the Patreon or if you wanna get a cool shirt, a Vegas with face masks on it, you'll see once you get to the Teespring. Those are all in the first comment of the video and in the description of this video. Now's the time when I say three, two, one. We start the video or we end the video and I say three, two, one, click. So three, two, one and click. Thank you.